In this video, I'm going to show you 10 shortcuts for manipulating rows and columns in Microsoft Excel. Are you ready? Let's do it. The first two shortcuts we are going to cover are how to hide and unhide rows in Excel. Now to hide one row or several rows, start by highlighting any amount of cells in the rows that you wish to hide. After that, just use the keyboard shortcut Control 9 and your rows are now hidden. To unhide any hidden rows, select a range that includes the hidden rows and then use the shortcut Control Shift 9 to unhide the rows. Okay. The next two shortcuts will be used to hide and unhide columns this time. To hide one column or several, start by highlighting any cells in the columns that you wish to hide. After that, just use the keyboard shortcut Control 0 and your columns are now hidden. Now to unhide any columns, select a range that includes the hidden columns and use the shortcut Alt H O U L to unhide the columns. Keep in mind that for this shortcut, you are hitting the keys in succession, one right after the other, instead of all at the same time. This is an important thing to note in almost all shortcuts that involve the ALT key. Okie dokie, the next two shortcuts will be used to auto-fit your rows and columns. To auto-fit a row, select any cells that you want the row to be adjusted for, and then use the shortcut ALT H O A. Remember that since we are using the ALT key, these keys are pressed in succession and not all at once. Now to auto-fit a column, select the cells you want the column to be adjusted for, and then use the shortcut ALT H O I. And that's how you get auto-fitted rows and columns. Alright, the final four shortcuts I will show you will add rows, add columns, and then delete rows as well as delete columns. To add a row, select the spot that you want to add a row, and then use the shortcut Alt I R. Keep in mind that the row is added above the cell that's selected. To add a column, select the spot where you want to add a column and then use the shortcut Alt I C. Keep in mind that the column is added to the left of the cell that you have selected. Now to delete a row or set of rows, select the cells in the rows you want to delete and then use the shortcut Alt H D R. To delete a column or set of columns, select the cells in the columns you want to delete and use the shortcut Alt H D C. These four shortcuts are all pretty easy to remember because you can think of Alt I R and Alt I C as referring to Alt Insert Row and Alt Insert Column. And when you want to delete rows and columns, you can think of Alt H D C and Alt H D R as Alt Home Delete Row and Alt Home Delete Column. And with that, I'd say you're fully equipped to quickly manipulate rows and columns with just a few quick keys. I hope you learned something new, and until next time, I will see you in the next Spreadsheet Life video.